Are you familiar with the expression, the bigger you are, the harder you fall? If golf ace Tiger Woods wasn't, he definitely would be by the end of 2009. At the height of his fame, Tiger had everything. Charm, skill, and a million dollar smile made him one of the most heavily endorsed athletes of his generation. His carefully crafted public image was that of a committed and successful family man. His marriage to model Elon Norgren and their two children only solidified Tiger as the man who had it all. But everything was about to change. Fueled by media frenzy, a seemingly minor car crash outside his Florida home would lead to the unraveling of the pro golfer's life. As accusations of infidelity swarmed, Tiger's face was plastered on the cover of every tabloid in America. What followed was a fall from grace so severe that the world number one would struggle to regain his pre-scandal form for years to come. So buckle up, as today's video explores how one man's lust destroyed a family, shocked the sporting world, and ended an era of domination never seen again on the golf course. This is the story of Tiger Woods. The first cracks began to form on November the 25th, 2009, when the National Enquirer reported on an alleged affair between Woods and a New York nightclub hostess, Rachel Yucatel. Initially, Woods was silent and refrained from commenting on the report, but after an incident involving the golfer made headlines again, he was forced to respond. Only two days after the National Enquirer report was first published, police were called to Woods' neighborhood after his Escalade SUV crashed into a fire hydrant as he was leaving his home around 2.30 a.m. The golf ace was reportedly not wearing a seatbelt and was taken to hospital for treatment of minor injuries before being released. It wasn't long before questions began to raise around the circumstances of the crash. Hours before the incident, Yucatel, the nightclub hostess Tiger had reportedly had an affair with, said Nordgren called her from Tiger's phone after discovering a series of romantic text messages between the two. The hostess said she was expecting to hear Wood's voice on the other end and answered by saying something like, hey babe, but instead of Tiger's voice, it was Elin. Some reports speculated that Nordgren had been chasing Woods with a golf club when the vehicle crashed and smashed the back windows of the vehicle. But both Woods and Nordgren denied these claims. A few days later, Woods issued a statement accepting responsibility for the crash, and only the crash. He denied the story reported by the National Enquirer and criticized those involved in their creation. The many false, unfounded, and malicious rumors that are currently circulating about my family and me are irresponsible. Around this time, Woods was reported to have asked Yucatel to call Nordgren and reassure her that the reports weren't true. Talk about messy. While it may have looked like Tiger had gotten the situation under control, these events set in place a series of events that would forever change Tiger's life. Woods was eventually charged with careless driving and fined a measly $164, but it wouldn't stop here. After news broke of the car accident, the Yucatel scandal was once again brought back into the public eye and Tiger could hide his skeletons no more. On December 2nd, Us Weekly reported that Woods had in fact had another affair with a woman named Jamie Grubbs. This time though, they came with receipts. The story included text and a voicemail message Gribbs claimed was left to her by the Nike golfer. This time, Tiger responded in just a few hours. He issued a statement saying the following, I have let my family down and I regret those transgressions with all my heart, where he alluded to his personal sins without explicitly confirming or denying anything. Woods would also take the opportunity to address the media fixation around him, criticizing the role that they had played in dismantling his life. Woods said he was dismayed to realize the full extent of what tabloid scrutiny really means. I mean, if you've got nothing to hide, right? Unfortunately for Tiger, it wouldn't stop there. Numerous women would come forward in the coming weeks claiming to have had an affair with the golfer, sending the tabloids into a frenzy. Woods appeared on the cover of the New York Post for 20 consecutive days, one day more than the tabloids coverage of 9-11. By the 11th of December, Woods had announced his indefinite leave from golf in an attempt to save his marriage. I need to focus my attention on being a better husband, father, and person. Two days later, Accenture became the first company to cut ties with the golfer. Other brands would soon follow, as the most heavily endorsed athlete of 2009 would lose a reported $34 million as a result of the ensuing drama. Woods' next step was to check himself into a behavioral rehab center in Mississippi. 
While there, Woods was made to list all the women he bedded as part of his treatment for sex addiction. And after a month spent at the clinic, he was ready to apologize to the public on national TV. At the PGA Tour headquarters and surrounded by friends and family, Tiger said, I was unfaithful. I had affairs. I cheated. What I did was not acceptable, and I am the only person to blame. Less than a month later, Woods would announce his return to golf. His comeback would be the prestigious U.S. Masters, and it would be the first tournament the golf pro would play in since the scandal broke out four months ago. While at the event, Tiger received a media grilling and answered questions about the crash for the first time since it happened. When asked about the disgraced golfer, Chairman Billy Payne said, our hero did not live up to the expectations of the role model we saw for our children. However, despite an attempted comeback on the golf course, Wood's marriage would not see similar success. In a story again broken by the National Enquirer, it's alleged that Wood's wife of five years decided to divorce the golf pro after discovering that one of the many women Woods had slept with was none other than their young 21-year-old neighbor. Despite being legal at the time of the affair, Woods had reportedly known the girl since she was 14 years old. I mean, talk about creepy. The Enquirer reported that it was after discovering this fling that the mother of two decided to sign divorce papers. Despite being made to list all the women he bedded, Woods had conveniently left this one out. Moments after learning about the disgusting fling, Nordgren called the golfer while he was having dinner with friends following his comeback at the U.S. Masters. She was screaming so loudly that everyone at the table could hear what she was saying, an unnamed source told the magazine. Woods' now ex-wife was quoted as saying, this is the worst betrayal ever. I can't believe you had sex with a girl in our own neighborhood. That's it, I'm divorcing you. The Enquirer claimed the seduction took place a year before the news of everything broke out, just yards from where his wife was caring for their newborn baby. Norgrim would go on to receive a $100 million settlement in the divorce. The writing was on the wall for the disgraced golf pro and with everything closing in around him, Tiger would struggle to find form on the course. It would be nine years before the ex-world number one would win any major tournament again. But if Tiger was anything, he was a hard worker, and that same drive that took him to be the youngest ever golf number one also allowed him to begin rebuilding his life for the better. Woods began to focus on being a better father, supporting and co-parenting his two children he shares with Northgren. Charlie, now 14, and daughter Sam, now 15, are very close to both parents, according to sources. They're fantastic with the kids, a source told People back in 2021. They communicate. The kids still see them as a parenting team, even though they're not together anymore. It's remarkable. You may have even seen Tiger's youngest join him on the golf course as he made his international debut a few years ago and has now competed in three consecutive PNC championships. While he's no Tiger Woods, Charlie Woods is definitely on the way to making a name for himself in the world of golf. Despite his best effort to turn things around though, drama continues to follow Tiger as in 2017, he was again involved in another scandal, this time being sued by his ex-girlfriend, Erica Herman. Herman wanted to nullify an NDA she had signed citing the Speak Out Act, which protects victims of sexual assault and harassment, but she does not make specific allegations against Woods. The pair dated for six years, and the NDA was originally signed in 2017 when the pair began their personal and professional relationship. Herman had previously been the general manager at Woods' restaurant, The Woods Jupiter. In a separate court filing, Herman accused Woods of locking her out of the home they shared in Treasure Coast, Florida. The golfer's ex claimed she was tricked into leaving the house after she was told to pack a suitcase for a vacation. When she arrived at the airport, there was no vacation. Instead, Woods informed her that she was locked out of the house and no longer welcome. The suit also reports that Woods attempted to justify his actions by paying for a hotel room and certain expenses for a short period of time. Woods' attorney responded to the suit saying that she was advised that she was no longer welcome, and after the pair's relationship ended, she responded to the breakup by filing this lawsuit. I mean, credit to Tiger here. At least this time, it was only one girl. The disgraced golfer has done his best to move forward with his life since the scandal broke out. Reflecting on it today, a source close to the golfer said he hates anything to do with the scandal. It brings back such painful memories of a really embarrassing, awful, harrowing time in his life. There are no good times he can remember from 2009 and 2010. None. 
He lost it all publicly and had to rebuild. As he's found new success on the golf course, Tiger seems to have learned his lesson and is currently out of the dating game, choosing instead to focus on himself and his family. These days, he's more likely to make the front page of a tabloid for being a great father to his son than for any real drama. But what do you think? Is Tiger really a changed man? Can anybody be forgiven for such disgusting actions? Or is it just a matter of time before Woods is in the news again for the same thing? Thank you for watching. And if you're still looking to get your fix of true celeb stories, why not check out our other videos next?